We're starting off today with a problem. Now, when I planted my impatience early in the spring, I told you, hey, I'm just going to plant them like I normally do and expect to get downy impatient mildew, but not until September. And we're just into August, and I'm already starting to see signs of it. When you start to see impatience lose all their leaves and kind of look straggly like this, that's downy impatient mildew. Now, I'm going to show you how we deal with that because this plant is doomed. There's no cure for it, but we're going to go over to some others that are still doing their thing and hopefully trying to protect them from the disease. And before we do, I want you to come close and look at something that's actually dangerous in the garden. It's right down here. We never want to touch this little guy. He is a tussock moth caterpillar. And if you look at my Facebook page, you'll see all the responses I got from a picture that I posted that the sting is serious. Let's go over and take a look at those impatients that are actually doing well. So I've got some plants here that don't look like they've been affected by the disease yet. And I'm just going to spray this organic fungicide on them, Serenade, and hopefully slow down or stop them from becoming infected with the disease. I'm going to have to rethink impatience, though, I think, if we're going to get impatient downy mildew this early in the season. But we'll see if we can keep some of these plants doing their thing. All right, we got a little bit of pruning to do. This is not the normal time for pruning. And you know how I'm always saying, be sure you know how big a plant's gonna get before you plant it. Well, look, it's covering these hostas up. So this caria is a tough plant. Uh, I love it, it has beautiful orange blossoms in the spring, but I'm gonna do some selective pruning to open up these hostas so they can, they can be seen carefully though. This whole stalk could come off going all the way down to the bottom. All right, that looks a lot better. I think the shrub looks okay. I'm gonna take a look at it though over the next couple of days and decide if anything else needs to come off. Let's get in the garden and do something fun. This is an important time to continue planting. I'm gonna plant some lettuce and arugula today. I put peas in here, but had terrible germination. I got one little pea here. I'll leave that there, but I'm gonna put some greens in here. The things we plant now, we could harvest all the way into winter and you know me, I want to extend the harvest. We're starting with some compost, we'll spread that out, and then we'll get our seeds in. Look at how small those seeds are. Members of my Seed of the Month Club will remember this arugula. That's a good one. And then I've got some lettuce here too. All we need to do is just sprinkle the seeds onto the compost, kind of just rough them in, and I swear, we'll be picking lettuce maybe all winter, maybe all the way to spring. All right, I'm gonna get some water on these and then we're gonna take one little stop in the garden and then finish up. Check it out, it's a Mexican sunflower tithonia yellow torch, one of my favorite varieties. It's a late bloomer, just like me. Great pollinator plant. Let's finish up. Be sure to check me out online. That's where you can find lots of other garden info and how to become a member of my Seed of the Month Club and check out this Gertrude Jekyll Rose, our second blooms of the year. They're just absolutely wonderful and, oh, smell like heaven. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.